Welcome to the final day of Vlogmas, day 25. <music> I hear Steve is stirring upstairs, so the morning's about to begin. The Animal Planet's version of a Yule Log is just these cats playing. And I love it. Bubby, is it kitty cats? Kitty cats up there. Do you see them? Look at the kitty cats. Looky. Looky, kitty cats. Get them. They're not outside, silly. They're right there. Looky. Looky. Right there, is a kitty cat. Do you see it? Kitty cats. We're getting ready to open some Christmas gifts and just made our coffee. And now I'm going to actually put on my Spotify Christmas playlist. And Bubby got dressed up for Christmas. Come here, show off your pretty self. Come here. Looky, he's wearing his Christmas sweater. You ready to open your first gift? Open your gift. Open it. What is it? What is it? What did Santa bring you? What'd you get? What are you doing? Are you just ripping paper? You go got a bone. go bone! Now we can play with you when we're not home. Go 
Look it. What is this? What is this? What is this? <gasps> oh. Oh, got a go bone. What is this? What is the that material? goes inside yeah. the. Yeah. Are you excited? We just finished opening gifts and now I'm starting breakfast. So I have my oven preheating to 425 and in that pan is four tablespoons of butter because that's going to melt as I get everything else ready. So I have the six eggs, the cup of milk, the cup of flour, and the vanilla. And you just want to beat this until it is completely, completely smooth, which I think we're there. It looks really smooth. Um, another step I've taken, but I just didn't feel like the, having the mess, is to throw it in like your blender or Vitamix and blend it until smooth. The butter is completely melted and now I'm just going to add the egg and flour mixture into the pan. And now this is going to bake for 20 minutes until golden brown. Right, it has been 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and check this. And it will bubble up like that. So what you want it to do is it should like kind of lift because it'll settle. All right, the scalloped potatoes are cooking. They need about five hours. I will leave the recipe that I love to use linked down below. I've used it to much success over the years and it is my favorite one. Okay, honey, I love you big bunches. All right, I love you big bunches. Okay, honey. All right, I'll be Mama. talking to you. All right. I love All right. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you too, honey. Bye-bye. So it is 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm still in my pajamas, but we've done a lot of work. Steven and I did a quick clean around the house before his parents get here for dinner, and I've just prepped everything and gotten the table set. And I want to show you how I kept the table setting really simple, but it turned out beautiful. And what I did is took some pine that we had left over from other garlands, along with some of the leftover oranges, and just arranged them around five Goodwill candlesticks. And then my favorite taper candles actually come from Ikea. And then within the pine, I tucked little bits of rosemary because it adds such a great fragrance. Then the table settings, I kept really clean and just did my white plates. And then I put a sprig of thyme on each plate. I always stick an herb on top of the napkin. It looks super classy, super elegant. Usually I go with rosemary, but I had extra thyme left over from the scalloped potatoes. Then some wine glasses, water glasses, a water pitcher, and the red wine over there. So that's what the table setting looks like for Christmas dinner. I am going to go ahead and get cleaned up and then after that it'll be about time to throw the ham in the oven. We are all set. I'm going to throw the ham in shortly and then Steven and I are going to work on our puzzle until his parents get here. And then we're just gonna spend time together and maybe we can rope them into helping with the puzzle too. I am really debating whether or not I will do a what I got for Christmas video just because out of all the videos I filmed over the last year, that's the one that I did not enjoy. Um, so I don't know if I'll do it, but I do wanna share one gift that I received from Steven, which I thought was just a great way to end Vlogmas. Um, and that was this vintage Dolly Parton record. And I was already touched by it. And then I opened it up and Steven had found a letter that my grandmother had written me on January 12th, 2014, and he put it inside the record, and I thought it was one of the most touching gifts and best gifts I could have received. So the rest of my day is going to be spent listening to this album, and probably looking at this letter several, several times. I'm going to end Vlogmas here, because I want to spend the rest of the day enjoying my family and making memories with them and not holding a camera. I have had the best time with Vlogmas, and I thank you so much for all of your support and all of your love around it. I hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to bringing you a lot more content in 2018. In the meantime, I'm going to sign off Vlogmas like I sign off every video. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone.
Until next time, my friends. It's cold.